that can tell homes, rather than do going away parties, we do new hire celebrations. Today we are doing a celebration for Patty Johnson. <laughs> and we're going to tell you the story of the goose. This is Pat. Pat the goose. We're not sure what gender Pat is, so hence Pat. <laughs> um, but with that, we're going to start at number one, and we're going to tell you the story of the goose. Take it away. In the fall, when you see geese heading south for the winter, flying along in a V formation, you might consider what science has discovered as to why they fly that way. As each bird flaps its wings, it creates an uplifting for the bird immediately following. <laughs> By flying in a V formation, the whole flock adds at least 71% greater flying range than if a bird flew on its own. People who share a common direction and a sense of community can get where they're going more quickly and easily because they're traveling on the thrust of one another. When a goose falls out of formation, it suddenly feels the drag and the resistance of trying to go in alone and quickly gets back into formation to take advantage of the lifting power of the birds in front. If we have as much sense as a goose, we will stay in formation with those who are headed in the same direction. When the head goose gets tired, it rotates back in the wings and another goose flies point. It is sensible to take turns doing demanding jobs with people or with geese flying south. Geese honk from behind to encourage those up front to keep up their speed. What do we say when we honk from behind? <laughs> <laughs> Finally, and this is important, when a goose gets sick or is wounded by a gunshot and falls out of formation, two other geese fall out with that goose and follow it down to lend help and protection. They stay with the fallen goose until it is better or until it dies, and only then do they launch on their own with another formation to catch up with their group. Do you have a sense of a goose to stand by each other like that? Absolutely! Yeah!